some of the worst things that have ever happened to you. They happened to you without you even knowing they were about to happen. You may be driving down the street or in the store or just sitting at home and you, you got some of the worst news you could ever imagine. And you didn't even see it coming. There was no way to prepare for it or some accident that happened to you while you weren't even expecting it. So we live in an unexpected world. We live in a world where depending on where you live, if you hear any sound above you or if you're outside and you see anything flying around, you automatically think it may be a bomb that could drop and kill you and your whole family. Depending on where you live, the people who were signed up to protect you and to save your life could be the ones to kill you for doing some of the smallest, most minute things. So how do we prepare for these random acts of violence? How do we prepare for Allah's will to be interjected into our lives and turned upside down? How do we prepare for the bomb? Allah says in the Quran, The afterlife is better for you if you only knew. With difficulty there comes ease. With the difficulty that we face there comes ease. So it is required upon us to see what is that ease in this difficulty? Where are the blessings in these situations that look absolutely crazy? Because those are the things that make us say Alhamdulillah. In the craziest situations we must say Alhamdulillah. All praise is due to Allah because it could always be worse. That's why every movement that we could be involved in for or against injustice should involve Allah because these are all tests from Allah and only through him can we make sense of all of these things if anything it should teach us that we're not safe anywhere regardless of how much education that we have regardless of where we live Regardless of the company that we keep, we're not safe from these tragedies happening to us or to somebody that we know. There's no protecting ourselves and there's nowhere that we can run. So with that being said, we must always stay prepared for if something does happen, how do we handle it? That's why situations like this, tragedies that happen in the world should push us closer to a lot. That's what they're for, to get us back to Allah. That's what when things happen like this, it should push us to read the Quran more. It should push us to pray more. And you hear people, they say, what are you gonna do about it? And you say, I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna read the Quran. And they say, what good is that gonna do? We need to do something right now, but that is doing something right now. That's giving the situation immediate action. As we go about fighting these things in the world, we can never forget about holding on to the rope of Allah. The Battle of Badr was fought during the month of Ramadan and they still fasted while they were fighting. They didn't forget about their spiritual obligations as they fought the injustices of the world. That's why even if you're on a horse trying to escape your enemy, you are required to pray. Don't forget about Allah while you're doing all of these things. That keeps you prepared for life and death at the same time and that's essential. That's required. That regardless of what we're doing at all times, we must stay prepared for this life that we're living and we must prepare for the afterlife because that's guaranteed. We are guaranteed to pass away at some point. So we must prepare for that also as we live this life. And those tools, those tools that we need to prepare for those two things are given to us almost immediately. 
If you were born Muslim, one of the first things that you see and that you take part of, one of the first pillars that you hold on to as a young child is how to pray. Because you see your mom and your dad doing it and you just, you just start the mechanisms yourself. One of the first things that you get when you convert to Islam is the brothers and sisters, they teach people how to pray. They give them the, the antidote. They give them the medication to deal with these things that are going on in this world because it's essential. Because regardless of these things, regardless of the craziness that are going on in this world, we must stay submitted to Allah. This is how we stay prepared for the random acts of violence. This is how we stay prepared for the bombs.